pretty warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at U.S. Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. Today, we kick off the new year with an NFC North matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings. The veteran kicker Mason Crosby set to do the honors here. And we are underway from downtown Minneapolis. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. play here's Cousins that's complete to Justin Jefferson and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down well partner that's the start that you want right there and you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds I'd probably say thousands of passes getting ready for that moment the first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Yeah, one for one, a lot more to go. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Yeah, we saw that from up here, CD. A tug on the face mask, and the flag comes out. And we saw that last week they had some defensive miscues like that. And they told us that they had worked hard on it in practice and thought they had it all cleaned up. But obviously the message hasn't really sunk in. I know, easy, easy. Play fake, Cousins. And he's gonna go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. So second and long and gotta be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Cousins. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish him not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing his Cousins. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. Yeah, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we've got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield, mission accomplished, points on the board. And he's going to be out of bounds on the return. Not a great return. They'll start back around the 17. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. He'll buy some time right. He's got a man complete. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Packers. Answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good.
Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. From the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. On second down, it's Cook again. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Another top five season in rushing for Cook last year. His third straight over 1,100 yards and his third straight ending with a Pro Bowl selection. This season can see a couple more milestones for him. He will cross 5,000 yards very early and could climb to third on the Vikings' all-time list of rushing leaders. Meanwhile, Cousins throw there taken in by Smith. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. On second down, Cook. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage, Cousins. Got an open man finding Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson, 49 yards. And the Vikings are able to move back in front. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. ready to get their next drive underway. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. The Vikings here hosting Green Bay in the season opener. And they've got one of those quirks in the schedule that is going to work in their favor. They play all three of their division home games in the first five weeks of the year. After Green Bay today, they'll host Detroit in week three and then Chicago in week five. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And this will complete to Will Fuller. The 20. Don't worry about it. Touchdown, Packers. Pretty good response. They had given up the touchdown and the lead, but they struck back. And I love the way that they just saw it happen. Took a quick exhale on the sidelines. So let's go get it back and fast. Let's go ahead and throw the ball downfield and get our own six points. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. Taken at the 15, a short kick. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Cousins. Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. A high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. Here's Fuller with a catch. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 
Jones will take this one in for a Packer touchdown. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Crosby connects on the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive, in particular if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And he will bring this one back. A fumble. It's clicking early in the year, week one, the return for a touchdown. The organization made a concerted effort in the offseason to improve this defense. I have to say they like the early returns. Crosby with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taking it about the one. And they will be backed up deep. Trouble here as they're going to start this drive at the six. Vikings now to start their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And Frank. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. <laughs> and we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Out of his end zone, Cousins. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. Call it a gain of six on the play, and third and eight now. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. That end it's doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Extra point try now for Crosby. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fields this way up at the 17. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And they will take a knee here. Hey. 
And they see no sense trying to press here. They take the knee and going to get this one into the locker room. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And he's going to give his guys...